Good morning. It's Friday the 31st of May. Where has May got to? And we're heading into uh, Intag. Really early today. Fridays we don't normally start till uh, 2 o'clock and got a phone call last night saying hey could you come in uh, I got a text last night saying can you come in a little bit earlier um, and then he sent me the shift and it's like a little bit <laughs> it's four o'clock in the morning man on my day on my day off so I was like oh so yeah it's 31st it's currently four minutes past four and we're heading to the yard now to go and collect a bus to go to I think Haslinden and then, uh, yeah, we'll find out when we get there. I'll get the sheet and I'll tell you. I'm not too sure what we're doing. But yeah, hope you're all well. Thank you uh, for all the, all the support and love on the last couple of videos. Really, really do love you all. Appreciate it. And we'll see you when we get to the yard. Uh, good morning. In the yard. Just about to finish our walk around check. Everything's super with this bus. Actually, first time I've been on the bus that's got all four tyres with red torque tags on. I think 283's been in the, uh, it's been in the garage for a while. So I'm doing 7002. Started in TAC, head to Hasland and Manchester Road. Manchester Road to Bay Cup St. James's Stand D. Swing around at St. James's Stand D to Market Street. Market Street to Accrington. Uh, Accrington to Rochdale Interchange. Rochdale Interchange to Accrington Bus Station. So it's a 4.37 sign off at the depot. I've got one minute, two minutes before I go. Uh, and then yeah, break time at 9.25. So it's a bit of a long one today. I don't normally do this shift on a Friday. I normally come in a little bit later on in the day and um, do a shift in the afternoon. But allocated text me said, please check duty for tomorrow morning. If you're okay with that, I looked at it. I thought, uh, yeah. So lights off, headlights on, keep them on. Not in service is up, and then off to Aslandon to do a bake up, and then uh, yeah. If we get time, I'll catch up with you. If we don't, I'll see you in Accrington. It all depends on how the day goes. So right, leave it with me, and uh, I'll see you when we get um, somewhere where we've got time. Hope you're all well. I think depart in 10 minutes. It's all right, boss. She just had some work done to her. 283. Oh, yeah. Leans a little bit because of the camera of the road, but. It's like she's had every panel, every left uh, near side panel off. But yeah. Good bus. Out at out at fifty eight, I think it said. Should arrive at fifteen at uh, four fifty seven. Out at fifty eight. May have got here a little bit early. <laughs> I may have got here like ten minutes early. But it's better to be early than it is to be late. Because then, if you find a problem with the bus before setting off. You can get it swapped quickly. It's really tidy and clean. I don't know if it went in service yesterday, but I know it's been off. It's been out of service for a few weeks because of the. There's been an issue with um, air gauge. Keeps saying there's less pressure than it thinks it should have. Because I was talking to a mechanic, and he's like, "They said, he said I think he said they've changed every component on it, and it's and it's still occasionally problematic." But I've just had it now and don't see the issue, so they've probably fixed it, probably found what the issue is. What's this problem with uh, new buses? More EC parts and electric bits and bobs. But yeah. Get ready for service. Eventful day so far. <laughs> hmm, five minutes here. 
Oh, this morning, nice and easy. No traffic, couple of roadworks. Yep, dead easy so far. Nice and bright. Oh, 13 minutes left till the next, uh, 12 minutes till the next boarding duty. Quite busy coming in actually, that was surprising, but very quiet on road, so yeah, just parked up on stand now, um, last bus has just gone, um, so not, there's no one here, wait for 5-10 uh, minutes, just caught, give me a quick debrief, uh, there's a Volvo BR8, <laughs> look at that, B8R, MCV, and my favourite one, the 590, I really want to ride the 590, might be a summer job this year. Yeah, um, it's not too bad. It's a bit, you know, mentally draining for me because of um, being up early and it being a long stint. But overall, yeah, it's uh, it's been quite reasonable. Passengers are lovely. Most of them go into like Rochdale. Most of them go into like hubs, so not not many just go into like random streets like Tong Lane, Hall Street. Few, not many. Um, but yeah, can't believe how long the time we got here. It's probably because the kids not being in, doesn't traffic's a little bit reduced on road, so it's, it makes it makes a huge difference. It really does. If you can take your kids to school by a bus, you should do. If you can walk to school, walk to school. It will make a huge difference to the traffic and the pollution on the road. That it just shows today. Get public transport. I know it's not for everyone's cup of tea, but yeah. It would make a huge difference to the road if there were less cars on it during the day. So, um, off to Accrington now, then it'll be a dinner break. Uh, got an edit to do, so I'm doing that whilst I'm at work. Should be fun. Uh, but yeah, it's clean, tidy. It's surprisingly clean for a, for, for a Friday. You know, I usually get a lot of people chucking stuff around on buses, but they've all been really polite, put the tickets in the bin. Uh, yeah, 10 minutes to go. Not really much to say. It's just uh, another day off in the office. It's, it's been, like I said, it's it's been quite chilled the last couple of weeks for me. Anyway, I don't know about everybody else. I mean, I was ill Monday. I got suspected tonsillitis, but I'm getting better. But yeah, it's um, pound furs on a Sunday now. Yeah, that went live. That caught, that 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 destroyed my change. I had absolutely no change left on Saturday. It proper confused me. So, right, I'm going to go and do this next stint, and I'll probably catch up with you in Accrington, and we'll uh, see how the day goes. Hey, they're 11, 11.28 kilo unladen weight. They're quite heavy, then. These are only eight unladen weight. They're nice. These Volvos are lovely. I really like these. If someone, if, I, think, I don't know if they're any good. But, yeah, they look really nice. Even I was speaking to a driver the other day, and the, she said that they were really nice inside. Like, driver-wise, comfort, very much like the old B7, so. Yeah, wait. So, I might go and open the doors and see what's going on. Oh, back in Accrington. Uh, just waiting now for board number six to appear. I've just been having a chat with Mo and Michael in the station. Nice little Pilkies uh, solo there. I do like these Pilky buses. They don't like us though. <laughs> they, they don't like four six four drivers. We uh, we get in their ways. Some drivers won't listen. Act, keep parking on their stands and it keeps upsetting them. So um, yeah, which is fair enough. It is their box. Park in their box. We have a spare box, which is number two. Oh, that was good thinking. Here comes my. Yes! <laughs> Good morning, sir. I'm going to take 18.63 for some fun. What a crazy end to the day. Um, didn't really get a chance to record an outro but over at Accrington. Come here, camera. Didn't get a chance to record it over at Accrington. 15 minutes late, absolutely manic. Don't know what was going on, but 
severe network disruption. That's the only thing I could say. Uh, the entire place was... My bus was full of like 75 people. Um, 100, I think it did £155, pound, um, which is a lot to say on a, on a two-duty journey, and especially in the mornings being really quiet. It would be honest, yeah. Um, saw the guy come out of Rochdale. We were behind each other almost, you know, tandem. Saw the guy come into Rochdale as I was coming out. It was Terry behind me. And, uh, yeah, just fighting my way up through, Rot and sh uh, through Rochdale into, into Whitworth. And then, just for some reason, just kept losing time. Ticket machine weren't working properly, but I don't think it was causing that much havoc. My mirror was moving on the near side, fixed that. Uh, but I don't think that was causing all the problems, but I think there was just genuinely either a bus missing or two buses missing, and there was a big gap between me and the guy um, in front and didn't realise how big of the gap was and, yeah, clearly was struggling with the uh, the timing and stuff like that. But, yeah, got back to Aki, um, 15 minutes late, switched over. Um, I can't remember his name. He's a lovely block. He watches the video sometimes, so he helped out. He got on board. Uh, got ready to go. Uh, then we jumped on a service bus, 6A, packed as usual. Uh, saw Pete, one of the drivers. I was going to record an outro when I got to the yard, um, but there was one of the ladies who drew to the 152 service. Um, the one her bus had broken, and she brought it back to the yard, and then needed to go into town. So I just said to her, you know, come on, jump in the car, I'll take you down, save you walking for a bus. It's a bit slow on her feet. I think she said she had a hip replacement, and it's playing, playing up, so I thought... Be the kind Samaritan that I am. Get her down there. So yeah, early mornings on a Friday. Not my cup of tea. Um, normally because I don't do them. I <laughs> uh, probably could get used to it, um, but at the moment, yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit difficult for me that. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed it, please hit the follow button, hit the share, and uh, hit the like, whatever it is. Like I'm really tired, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it.